Okay, here we are. It's a brisk cold morning. Almost too cold. I had to wait till 10.30 to come out. Okay, we got somebody else here. Tommy Perry, right? Yes, sir. And it's a pleasure to meet you both finally. One of the famous bottle diggers in North Carolina right there. Yeah. Uh, here, here's one of my heartbreakers from the very get-go this morning. I didn't yeah. use the box of Kleenexes right there <clears throat> for that one. And I think I know some people who fix his tops, and I think I'm looking right at them. Right there. I've experimented with yeah. it, but I and, uh, don't claim to be an expert yet. That's right. Uh, got, uh, I did learn this from him right here. You put the um, bottles in the water, and it keeps the fish eyes away. And I tell yeah. you, it does work. That's a um, that's a Kelford ring neck bottle right there. Coca Cola. Yeah. A rather boring looking bottle. It though. is a boring looking bottle. <laughs> There's thousands of them in here. And you got a um, you know the cherry cola come out perfect from uh, Rocky Mount right there, right there. So, hmm. yeah. so it's getting pretty good and the rest. And well, like I say, uh, <coughs> where we uh, found the first one. That, see right there when I first started digging in here. Mm -hmm. They was um, right there. I bet we pulled out over a thousand patches and cokes. And it started coming this way, right there. So the when you say we... Me and my fiance, she digs with me. What? Is this one of the best Pepsi bottle places you've ever seen? Okay, so yeah, that's a straight-sided Coke from Kelford. I've been told they exist and I did not believe it. So this is actually the first one I've ever seen. Well, Does I think that... I'm going to give it to you. Oh, thanks, because I know where the Kelford Coke dump is, and I can't believe I, that this bottle exists without me having even found a broken one. Mudfest continues. Let's see what we're going to find today. I don't know how you dig with your... Don't the tools slip out of your hands because it's so slippery with all the mud on them? They do. Sometimes I lose them too when I pull out the bottle. They come right off. Okay, I'm gonna get back to this little hole. I was hole kinda I hoping you were gonna have it all shoveled out for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so unpleasant standing in the water over there that I just said no. Can't take any more of that. <laughs> so I've been here half an hour at least and I got this one showing up. Oh my god. I don't believe it. What the hell is this? A straight-sided Coke from Pensacola, Florida? Okay, got a bottle showing here. There's a Roanoke Rapids Mint Cola, but it's topless. Well, it's pretty obvious that the Chadbourne Coke Company sold all their bottles to the Weldon Coke Company when they went out of business. Because there's been at least 40 of them found here. Only a couple intact, though. So, I think I got a, some kind of a Pepsi coming out right here. Not sure what it is. I'm not going to try and yank it out yet because it's going to break in half probably. Another 10 pin. Okay, I got this one coming out now. What's it gonna be? Hmm, I don't know what that is. Let me wash it off. I don't recognize this one at all. Pittsfield, Massachusetts, no wonder. Eh, it's all fractured up anyway. But still, I'll probably bring it home. Maybe spray paint it. Okay, I just pulled this one out unexpectedly. I thought it was going to be broken, but it was actually whole. It says, Property of Greenville Coca-Cola Bottling Works. Greenville NC Registered. But it does have a crack in the neck. But still, these are pretty rare from what I hear. So I'm sure I can still get $20 for it. Okay, I found it in a Boss drugstore. I think it says Weldon on it, but it's so muddy I can't really be sure. 
let me rinse it off and get back to you. Ain't that some? Got a perfect one of those? Yep, there you go, baby. Oh, man, you got so lucky, I'm jealous. Yeah. All I found is this broken one. <laughs> now, this is pretty, pretty rare. <laughs> it's a rare one, but it's broken. But I'm going to saw it off and make a toothpick holder out of it. Because that's the only one of these in that variation I've seen. Okay, here's that drugstore bottle after I washed it. It's got a number of cracks in it, but I'm bringing it back because I don't have one. Okay, look at all this glass showing up. Got a whole bottle here, hopefully. Now I can't get it out, it must be whole. Then we got something right here that looks whole. Not mostly whole anyway. It's a Weldon Pepsi. I'll bring it back. It's almost intact. And as you can see, the debossing in the mud. But what do we got underneath that one? Feels like I might be a whole one. I think we're getting into some stuff now. There's another one that looks like a whole one. Coca-Cola chewing gum jar. Okay, that one's got the top busted off, but it's almost a whole one. Okay, that one looks like a whole one. Dang it. Not quite another Weldon Pepsi. And yet another could saw that one off and make something out of it. And then we got this other one over here. Nope. It broke. Okay, I just found one of these really rare mint colas. It's broken off, but as you can see, the town name is written upside down on it. So, since it's so rare, I think I'll bring it back with me anyway. Okay, I think I got a whole one showing up here. Looks like it's going to be a Pepsi. It is a Pepsi. It's a triple scripted one. That means it's probably from Rocky Mount. Not a very valuable one, and the embossing is kind of weak. But it looks to be in good shape to me. Okay, I think I got one here. Yeah, it's a whole one of some sort. Well, it's sheared off on the crown, but it's a straight side of Coke. Oh my God, it's from Kelford. Extremely rare. Got to stick it in the water before it's too late. Okay, I got two bottles showing. I think they're intact. Nope, that one's not. How about this one? Oh, dang it. It's another broken one with weak embossing from Rocky Mount, undoubtedly. Okay, I think I got a whole bottle coming out here. Oh man, can't be risking it. Gotta loosen it up all the way. Dang it. Okay, I think it's ready now. Ah, oh, dang, it's just another Virginia Fruit Juice Company. And the top's sheared off, too. Well, it's still worth something. Okay, I got something coming out here. Hmm. I think it's just one of those from Kelford that has very minimal embossing on it. And then I just found this Pepsi bottle, scripted, but top's broken off, but it still will make a good drinking glass. Relax or something. Hmm. It's a damn fat pen. Look how it's shaped. You see it? Sort of a 10 pin. Yeah, it says content 7 and 8 before that diagonal. Hmm. Okay, that one bottle I thought was from Kelford is actually a, a Matthews and Weeks. 
from Rocky Mount. So that's a nice one. Oh man, that's a broken thousand dollar bottle right there. Yeah, it's been confirmed that there's still people willing to pay a thousand dollars for these 10 pins from the Mint Cola Bottling Company. So, I think we got a couple more bottles showing up over here. Got the base of a 10 pin right there. Could it be a whole one of those? No, of course not. It's just one of these types. This is the honey hole. <laughs> At least it's the consistency of honey. But I got a soda right here. Got another one right there. Another one right there. Another one showing up right there. Another one showing up right here. Another one showing up right there. Another one right here. So, if just two of those are intact, I'll be happy. So, what's this one? It's broken and it's minimally embossed from Weldon. No, Kelford, I should say. What about these other ones? I lost my good single prong scratcher, so I'm using this plastic one, so it's not working too good. That's broken. Okay, back to the next one. The scratcher is just about at the breaking point. Okay, what do we got here? It's a hollow skirt and it feels like it's going to be intact. But I don't want to be responsible for breaking it, so I've got to loosen it up a bit. Okay, well, it's mostly intact. What city is it? It's just a welding. Okay, what do we got here? Nope, it's broken off. What about this one? Mm, it's broken off also. So, what else can we get out? This one? Damn it. Broken off. What about that one? Top's already sheared off, but what about the rest of it? Uh. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a Coca-Cola scripted, older style one from like 1908. Okay, got a couple showing here. And it's broken off. It's a triple scripted Pepsi. Okay, we got a 10 pin here. And it is the common one from Virginia. And we got a hobble skirt, but it's broken. It's getting dark. I think I got one showing here. I think it's tall. Ah, it's just a hobble skirt. And it's from Weldon, that's pretty common. Okay, I got another one showing up here. Feels like another hobble skirt. It's, uh, it's kind of intact, but it's got a massive chip out of it. What town is it? No name? Okay, I got another one. That's broken. Okay, I just found a straight side of Coke from Hamlet, North Carolina. That is 200 miles from here. It's a pretty good one. Okay, I got one here. Oh, it's broken, of course. Welding. Okay, got another one showing up right here. And it's got the top sheared off, and it's also welding. Okay, got another hobble skirt coming out. It's broken. Okay, got something showing up here. Another hobble skirt, but it's intact. 
probably fractured though. Oh, what city is it? It's another welding. Okay, I got one coming out. Okay, it's a whole one and it's a straight side of coke of the early variety. I don't see any cracks or any chips either. So that's a nice one. Okay, got one showing here. Looks like a whole one to me. Damn it. It's a mint cola from Scotland Neck. Okay, I just found one of these bowling pins. Broken, of course, but it's the mint cola one. If it doesn't have any cracks in it, then it still is worth some money. Here's another one. It must be whole because it's so hard to get it out. It is whole. It's a Pepsi from Tarboro again. Okay, got another one. It's a hobble skirt and it's in one piece. And it is from Weldon. It's in terrible condition, but it's unknown. A straight sided Coke that's unlisted, that's unheard of. Kelford, North Carolina. Not a block printed one either, a scripted one. So that'd be about a $1,200 bottle if it wasn't all cracked up. Then we have the Mint Cola 10 pin. It's got a bruise right there. And the top's broken off, but it's extremely rare. It's got to be worth at least $20 even like that that have this odd bottle. Never seen one of these before. It's kind of a 10 pin, but not exactly. All of these bottles have a lot of rust on them. And here's a common 10 pin from Virginia Fruit Juice Company. Sometimes you can get these for as little as five dollars at bottle shows. It's intact, but it has multiple fractures, so I think I'll just spray paint this one. And my friend gave me one of these, and then I later found another one. I don't know which one is the one he gave me, but... Kelford Straight Side of Cokes are about unheard of. And we have this one. It's just from Weldon. It's pretty beat up. I probably shouldn't have even bothered to keep it. And this one's going to require a lot of soaking in muriatic acid. It's from Weldon. Might be able to repair that top. Then we have this rocky mount. Obviously I'll have to cut it off at about the 2 inch level and make a toothpick holder out of it. And the Chadborn, it's listed as rare, not very rare, just rare. It's pretty rough, but somebody might give me $10 for it. And I think this is another Chadborn of a different mold make. Pretty rough also, massive lip chip. And we have a tooled top, straight side of Coke. I thought it was Weldon, but it's actually Emporia, Virginia. Yeah, I also thought it was in mint condition, but it has a massive crack in it. And it's got stain in the crack, so you know it's been there for at least a hundred years. But still, it looks pretty good on a shelf, and it's a pretty rare bottle. And we have another straight side of Coke. I wish this was the Kelford, because this one is near mint. But for some weird reason, it is... The Hamlet, North Carolina. This is a more rare variation than the older one, believe it or not. It's got that one big bruise in it, but I don't even have one of these in my collection, so that was a pretty good find. And another beat up Chadborn. 
top's all cracked off. And a mint cola from Roanoke Rapids. It's got a massive chip out of the top and a couple cracks, but might still be worth five to ten dollars. And when I pulled this one out, I was excited because it's hacked, but when I went to stick it in a bucket of water, I noticed it went in too easily. The bottom sheared off absolutely perfectly. Sort of weird. And then the Greenville, North Carolina Coca-Cola. Got a crack in the neck that's pretty big. But other than that, it displays pretty well. Actually has multiple fractures in the base. And this 1915 has a bit of a blue color to it. The top's broken off. And it has no city on it. And then we have a broken top. Block printed. Tarboro, North Carolina Pepsi. And then the most mint example of a bottle I found all day. It's a beauty. But it's not really very valuable. It's all the way from Pensacola, Florida. And then the scripted Weldon Pepsi. No, it's not perfect. Displays pretty well because the broken off part is back here. Oh, the Matthew and Weeks. It's just got a couple chips on the base. Okay, here's another one, a very clean example. No case wear either, but the top's broken off. But definitely too good to throw that back. Then a nice clean block letter. And it's from Weldon. Top's broken off though. And there's the blood wine, broken in half. And it is from North Emporia, Virginia. And last bottle is a Chadbourne, North Carolina 1915 with the top broken. Probably should throw it away. Well, that's it. It's about seven hours of digging. And I suppose it was a worthwhile dig. It was very muddy, though. So until next time.